So now that you flat earthers know that there is actually a real plane ride that goes from Australia to South America and Mark Sargent has been proved wrong, what are you going to do now? It doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all like scurrying now. <clears throat> you know how I see it? It's kind of like a, you ever go to one of those like, uh, I don't know, museums, they have like a funnel, you know, you, when you roll a penny down the funnel, I guess uh, as a penny goes down, I guess you can consider it like going down, it's like on a flat surface, like at the very bottom of the funnel, it's like flat, but at the bottom, there's like a container, like I, I used to be a little league catcher. You know, the catcher's mitt, it's like concave. And so you guys have nowhere else to go but into my mitt. Now, you start on on top of that funnel, it's kind of like a convex. <laughs> it goes down the drain. And then I'm right there to catch you guys. You guys have nowhere else to go but concave earth. can't do it guys I'm sorry I'm sorry it does not work should I say I told you so um, federalism is dead why don't you just give it up why do you keep going Anything but Lord Stephen Christ and concave earth, right? Anything but, it's my good friend Vincent. He commented on this video. Bummed out. Because you pointed out Schuler's tuning. If you guys watched my video about Schuler's tuning, it proves that the gyroscope is tuned to stay level with the ground. <laughs> That's why you guys don't bring that up. No. Uh, so, flat earthers, you know, just try to get past me, the messenger, and realize that it doesn't work. Sunlight does bend, and the earth is indeed spherical, but it is spherical concave. So, fetters have no working sun, no working moon, no working stars and planets, and now the pizza base is wrong. So, what the F? They got working. Mr. Perspective is saying, use this. Does that mean a real Antarctic and ice wall pizza crust? America looks like someone with a bad back. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> you guys are reaching, aren't you? So now you have to conclude that Antarctica is not an ice rim. Oh, interesting. Why don't you just like admit it's a sphere? Rory is maybe a shill. Nah, he's just a proud individual who refuses to capitulate, who's incorrigible. He never did give me an answer when I pointed out mistakes on his bird migration video. And that is not all. That it not only could not work on a flat earth, but as he pointed out, on a spinning ball earth. It can only work in concave. So, yeah. You guys, yeah, you guys shoot yourselves in the foot. I don't know, guys. I bet Mark Sargent was doing a big face palm. Thinking right that. Yep, another one for the hologram pocket. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. You guys will just have to, like, throw that one into the hologram bucket that, you know, direct flights in the southern hemisphere are real. Yeah, they're not that many because of economic reasons, but they're real. So, you know, just admit, I mean, yeah, you contemplated concave birth, but that Lord Stephen Christ, he's a jerk, he's an asshole, he's an arrogant prick, whatever. Uh, that doesn't take away the fact that you were inside the concave birth. You just got to be honest with yourself, okay? There's so many flaws in flat earth. There's so many flaws in heliocentric convex earth. 
There's no flaws in concaver. None. There's not a single flaw. You gotta understand that you've been tricked. You gotta understand that the sun, the moon, the stars, what you see above the sky is an optical inversion because light bends. That's the only way it makes sense, guys. Rectilinear shows that the earth is curving upward, the water is curving upward. And uh, I'm do it, I'll do it again for you guys, the rectilinear experiment. But uh, like Sean Milton said, you know, we don't even have to do it because we're money. It works. So, but yeah, it's still being, we're still, still being manufactured and we're still planning to do that. So, so yeah, maybe it's time to actually like validate what I say, give me credit, acknowledge what I say, you know, talk about me. Lord Stephen Christ is right. Concave Earth is right. Uh, don't be so resistant to that. And you also need to ponder, you know, if he's right about the earth, maybe he's right about the Christ part too. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's right about the Christ part too. Maybe he's right about prophecy too, about the sun stopping and the mega crime meteors falling. Maybe, just maybe, you know, if I have enough acuity and understanding and perspicacity and understanding that we live inside the concave earth. Maybe I just have enough insight to take that a step further in understanding my solipsistic existence as the source, consciousness, the creator, the Superman. So, think about that, guys. Have a great day.